episode one of the White Sneaker Series. Coils versus, well, they all look the same, Common Projects. The Koyo sneakers were the most requested alternative to the Common Projects from the Common Projects video. So I thought it was only fitting to start the sneaker series off with the Koyos. And the plan with the series is to do a different minimalist white sneaker every Saturday until we run out of white sneakers. Um, next week is the Stan Smiths. And so if there's a particular sneaker you wanna see, the best way to get on this channel is to slide into that company's DMs or send them an email and tell them you wanna see their sneaker on my channel. That helps me get sponsors and it helps uh, fund the, ch the channel and it helps you see the shoes you wanna see. And speaking of sponsors, Koyo did sponsor this video and just like my other videos that have sponsors, uh, instead of me earning a little bit of money anytime you guys buy one of these, I just asked for a discount and they're doing 15% off for the next two weeks. So if you want a pair of these, get them quick. Now to the stats on these shoes, the brand is Koyo, the model is the Capri, the colorway is the Triple Whites, they sell for $248 on their site and they're made in Italy. Now it's time to start dissecting these things and figure out what this leather is. Um, because you can't really tell because they have edge paint on all the edges, which is a really nice touch. I think it gives it a really finished look compared to a raw edge like the Common Projects, um, but it makes it hard to see what the leather is. So let's cut the tongue and the toe area apart. On their website, they say this is a full grain calfskin leather. So we can see that little grain pattern at the very top there. And we know that it's a chrome tan leather by the blue that we see in there. The layers of this go, the top layer is that calfskin at 1.4 millimeters. Next, we have a layer that I believe acts as that bonding agent that glues the two pieces together. And then the bottom layer is another layer of chrome tan leather, which is 1.2 millimeters thick. And these leathers are really similar. They might even be from the same tannery in Italy, um, especially looking at the cross section, they're super similar. And in the Common Projects video, I think I confused some people because I didn't do a good enough, good enough job of um, distinguishing between what I expected out of the Common Projects versus what I thought of the Common Projects. And um, that's my fault, you know, I, 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 I should have clarified better. So I'm gonna attempt to do that and clarify my position on chrome tan leather and just this leather in general. So what did I expect from the $425 price tag of the Common Projects? When I saw that price tag, I thought that maybe this shoe was built less like a regular sneaker and more like a dress shoe where you'd see like a leather counter, leather guts, and a vegetable tan leather upper. So why would I expect a vegetable tan leather upper? Because vegetable tan leather is more expensive to produce because it takes longer than chrome tan leather. Chrome tan can be made in a matter of days versus vegetable tan leather, if it's done right, can be takes months. So I saw that price tag and I thought, oh, they must be using vegetable tan leather. Because I, I thought that's the only way they would justify asking $425 for a sneaker was if they used some exclusive high-end vegetable tan leather. Not necessarily that it needed to be vegetable tan layer, leather, but that's just what I expected. Now to what I thought of the leather. Some people's main takeaway from that video was that the sneakers were bad because it was chrome tanned leather and that's not really what I meant. I thought that maybe by showing that the, the uh, Red Wings use chrome tan leather that that would show that the chrome tan leather isn't bad um, and that there's traits that make it superior to veg tan leather versus you know, there are certain traits that make veg tan leather better than chrome tan leather. A lot of people would rather have a chrome tan leather in a sneaker because of some of its properties, like it's faster to break in, it's more water resistant, it doesn't take as much care. So hopefully that clears everything up because I think this is a good leather at the Koyo price point. You know, for $245, it's a really good leather, it's gonna last a long time and you're gonna be happy with it. Now let's cut open this heel area and see what kind of counter it's got and kind of how it's structured in here.
Starting from the inside, working out, we've got the same flipped leather. So you've got the grain side on the inside and the, the more suede or the flesh side on the outside. That helps catch your heel when you're wearing these in so your heel doesn't slip and give you blisters. And then next we've got that layer of black foam padding. And then we've got a counter material that I've never actually seen before. So this counter material is, it isn't a plastic, it isn't rubber, it isn't leather, it's, it's a fabric that's reinforced. The nice thing about this is when you bend this over and over and over, it's not gonna break like a rubber or plastic counter or even a compressed leather counter. And then from there outwards, we've got the, the different layers of leather. Um, and one thing to note is this panel of leather here stops when this next panel overlaps. And then that panel stops when you get to this coil branded cap here. So it's not one, two, three layers of leather over top. It's, it's um, kind of sectioned off and stops when the new layer starts. Next, let's cut some of the sidewall stitching and see if it's glued on the sidewall or if it's just stitched. So there's no glue that holds the sidewall of this cup sole to the upper, it's just stitched. Which is really nice because you could re-sole these. If you could get one of these Margum soles, all you'd have to do is re-stitch it on, put a little glue on the bottom, and you'd be good to go. So I really like that. I'm glad that they didn't glue that sidewall on. Now let's pull the insert out and see how that's structured because this one is removable compared to the common projects. It wasn't. So just a really basic insert. You've got the leather on top and then a layer of foam underneath. And this is quite a bit thicker than the common projects and it's removable. So if you need custom orthotics or you just like a little bit more squish, it's nice to be able to replace these. Now let's get to cutting them in half because I think we've got pretty much everything but the cut in half to do. All right, got it cut in half and let's see what's inside. <coughs> so almost identical to the common projects on the inside, but I wanna tear all this out just to double check that we're not missing anything. Now that we got it completely deconstructed, let's go layer by layer and compare the two. Starting with the outsole. So they're both a Margum outsole. The Common Projects has a layer of foam between the insole fiberboard and the outsole. And then from there, we go to the compressed cardboard, which is the same. Then we go to the, the steel shank, which is the same. Then to the fiberboard insole, which is the same. And then the inserts are different, the permanent um, insert on the common projects versus the thicker uh, removable insert on the Koyos. And then the liner leather is really similar. The counters are different. And when I tore this counter out, look how big this thing is. That's half of it. So that gives it a little bit of structure around the side of the Koyos as well as in the heel, which is nice versus the common projects, it's the compressed leather um, counter. And then there is a difference between the way that the the liner and the outer layer of the two shoes are bonded together. The Common Projects is just lightly glued versus the Koyos has a layer of fabric that is used to help strengthen the bond between the two layers of leather. Um, the outside layer of leather between the two of them are really similar, if not from the exact same tannery. And then really similar construction, they're both strobel stitched and a cup sole. The design is slightly different. We've got a few more panels of leather on the Koyos. So with the Koyos, you're getting the exact same quality, the same construction, just for a lot less money. And especially if you use a discount. So that's really interesting because you hear all these people talking about the quality difference between these two, but they're 
they're basically the same quality. Let me know what you guys think. Did this surprise you? Um, which one do you think is better quality? Is there anything I missed in here? And um, what shoes do you want to see next? And don't forget, if you do want these Koyos, they're very generous in giving a 15% discount for the next two weeks for you guys that watch this video. And the information on how to get that discount is in the description. So check them out. Thanks for everything you guys do. See ya.